It's a little drippy out today. The uh, lack of a hood, the alternator gets a lot of a lot of moisture and weather. So the alternator that was in here uh, went bad, and I had to hook up a external regulator. If you own a uh, second gen or first gen Cummins, they're all externally regulated, uh, normally in the computer of the truck. And that causes an issue when those go out because uh, you can't really get those parts anymore. So then you got to hook up an external, an external regulator. Um, I did this on my uh, on my '96 uh, second gen, um, and I still have an issue with that. But I learned something while working on the car. And I'm going to try to walk through that with this right here. So this is a easy to get external regulator. You generally need that plug. Plugs into that. This is a internal, it's an external regulator but it can be mounted uh, behind the back plate of the alternator so that it's it's hidden. Um, I had one of these on my my 96 and it worked great until it didn't obviously. Um, at which point I tried to order one and it was it wasn't gonna come anytime soon. Now looking back I should have paid attention to how this uh, was wired in there and I could have saved myself some headache but I didn't so here's hopefully something that'll help you so this here when you're wiring that in uh, it gets its lead for what the voltage is from the back of the alternator that's your strongest voltage signal you're gonna get is what's coming out of the alternators output when you wire this in they generally don't have any obvious instructions online at least when I was looking so that's what we're going to try to eliminate one of these is your key on source that tells it to go ahead and activate and the other one is uh, going to be piggy tails so it's going to have two uh, the input and from the alternator from the alternator itself um, when I did mine on the 96, I originally just hooked it up to the original input source and that was way, way not enough voltage. So my voltage was, was spiking like around 18. Um, so then I hooked up a relay, I love relays, hooked up a relay and was able to get that signal closer to uh, 12, 12 one um, as the vehicle was running and that was able to bring it down so my generator light would every once in a while turn well okay that, that's that's stretching it most of the time it's on sometimes it's off it's like right there at on the edge of being too much but when I wired this I'm like I need a stronger a stronger signal so I actually ran the input source from the alternator itself. So when it's going to the regulator, the absolute strongest signal I can get is coming directly from the alternator itself. So it's not having to run through any of the other harness of the vehicle. I'm not tapping into a signal from the battery. It's just coming directly from, from the alternator itself. So hopefully that helps somebody when they're putting an external regulator on a first gen, second gen Dodge being able to get your constant source from the alternator itself versus trying to go through where the battery's at. Huge, huge, huge upgrade. Uh, volt gauge is not bouncing around. It's charging constantly right where it's supposed to be. Good solid signal.